Get that camera angle ready. Here we go then. Division 2, Portimao, Season 8. Here we go then. Five lights on ahead of the drivers. And it's lights out. And away we go then for Division 2. And who looks to have got the better start? Bad Otter's got a really good start in the Williams. He's already up to P2. The soft compound tyre's helping him. Going down into Turn 1. Legend sends it. And he's pushed the Red Bull of Alfie off the track and has made his way over to P3. The contact there. Just behind, I think someone may have gone round. It's one of the Mercedes. Mercedes. It's That's Asian. Mercedes has got some penalty. Oh, it's debris everywhere. I thought what's going on is uh, Dodger Clock's now going around the outside of the protesters there for P17. This is more battling uh, further up the field. They're going to go free wide. Oh no, boys, keep it clean. If you are for it's just going to die bomb move there into P9. Uh, although, DPT Paul, the championship lead is going to get him back here. Um, so, Paul takes that P9 spot. Uh, so, Adrian already get a fasting penalty, which, which is not ideal for him. It's now good for a turn there. Is it going to be spinners? Uh, I don't think there is. And then everyone's going to keep it clean for turn 8 as uh, going through into turn 10. Bodhi and Private Commons going to go side by side, both from top compound tyres. Uh, as Common goes round the outside, lovely move there. And Dave D's going to go round the outside of the Red Bull as well. Modi's going to eat, eat for breakfast here at Porter Mao as Danny D's going to go up for the P13. So Private Commons already up from, I believe, started P17 maybe on those fresh softs. Yeah. It's now already up to P11. Indeed. Very good start from the hash driver. He said he was going to go aggressive at the start on those softs. And he definitely has gone aggressive. Getting Alan, sixth Alan position. Can to turn one. Indeed they are. P6. And Alan wants to get that P6 position off the Alpine driver. And he looks to make it work going down into turn one. And yes, he can, I believe. Oh, I'm just going to try and stick it. He's going to go for the uh, switchback. Someone's uh, someone gone off ahead. Yes, it has. And it's Rapid Coot from the lead. He's well, off. So Rapid Coot has gone off at the uh, he into, from the lead of the race. And these two are still going side by side. And it looks like Owen has got the position, but Morris is now going to go for it on his teammate. Two Ferraris going side by side into the turn five. Hey, but oh, and Morris sends it collision there with Owen. And he's going to be lucky to get away with damage. But race leader and pole sitter Vapi Coot has dropped out of the back after that spin. Bal Otter now takes the lead of the race. She is. And also in the meanwhile, there's lots of moves in the midfield. And now Travel Command has now gone up into uh, P10 now on the sauce. And Danny D got past uh, Shaggy, but the Shaggy is losing a lot of time. On the task, will of course get them back at the end. But let's see if Otter can pull out the DRS zone of uh, Legend. I think he's going to stay in a second for now, as the rest um, is going to uh, come for the power drive very short. Sorry, very soon, very shortly. As um, Alfie is uh, struggling to keep in the one second window, of course, in the millions, but it is crucial for his race. Um, if he gets the arrest, that will, that will help him massively as he's coming on the second and you have to use battery. And he's got to be careful uh, because battery is very uh, hard to save around here. As Alan gets past his teammate Morris uh, oh. into P6, uh, goes Alan and he's going to chase after Owen. As, uh, oh, he's not well, was well. Alice made, I think Alice has gone to last. Uh, that's Fabricou going to P19 there. There's just more moves at the back of the field. Oh, as far as going to go again. And Paul's going to get involved now. The mug at three wide into turn five. As uh, Paul sends it, I think as uh, I think Alan sends me back out of it. Although Paul and Morris are going to make slight, slight contact there. And that's going to allow VR46 to get involved. And Private Court May as well. It's going to go round the outside of turn seven. He's going to make that stick and he's going to go to turn eight. He's going to be careful not to spin on the inside oh, line. Alan's oh, round. there's two oh. spinners. As, it's Alan. Also a bit of a yeah, and Danny D got involved in that. Well, he's, he's got, um, I believe he's got wind damage after hitting the back of uh, Ume there. So that's unfortunate for all those drivers involved. As uh, Prentice is now going to try and get past Danny here. The stricken red ball. He's on, uh, got down the ring, I believe. As uh, it's making life very difficult for Prentice, uh, Danny. And he just about gets through. As it's going to be moved behind him as well. That's going to be... Uh, I don't know who that is. I think that's first yeah, Fabricou. Yeah, there it is. As Coot's going to go around the outside, of course, made that mistake. And Danny's kind of been the roadblock here. As uh, might see him for P1. There's going to be Legend getting past Otter for P1, I believe. And also, in the meanwhile, Morgan's going to get past Alfie. Oh, um, there's contact between the two. Well, there is, oh, and Legend's round. Oh, and he's, he's had to cut the corner. And he's got a 10 second, second time it and safety as car. Alan retires in the pit lane. Oh, that's unfortunate for Alan. He retired just as the safety car came out. So Oh, no, uh, he's crashed in the pit lane entry. Oh, did he? Oh. Yes. He, I've just gone on board with McLoggan and his car is stricken in the pit lane entry. And we have a safety car. And Legend got a 10 second time penalty for that collision with Bad Otter because he had to cut the corner. And I wonder, if he, he, I wonder if he can appeal that. I'm not sure. But we'll see at the end of the race from the stewards, maybe later on in the report. 
You might have to serve five seconds in the pit lane though. That's the problem. You might have to serve five seconds on because sometimes they do five second intervals in the pit lane. Um, so you might lose five. It, it might lose five seconds in the pit stops. So we, we should see people either, either go into the hards or the mediums. Um, I believe unless people stay out. Um, though, the, the people in the mediums, the safety cars come like I think a bit too early for it to really hamper them. But it's also not really ideal because people are going to get a free pit stop, of course. Um, but it's come a bit too, maybe a bit too early for what um, for the software to have a massive advantage. Um, yeah, so that. Unfortunately, the two race leaders making contact in turn one, uh, not what you like to see, but it does happen in racing, and uh, as legend, um, uh, having the bigger issue than what Otto did, and Otto um, keeps the lead in the Williams. So. Stays out, as everyone does, it looks like, so no one's going to come in apart from the drivers at the back, and you've got to feel for private comment, he would have been the biggest gainer off the start, but gaining so many positions, but had that collision, a shaggy comes into the pit lane, but... Uh, now down to P18, and if you're just joining us now, lap 5, we do have a safety car. I've dressed like Alan did have a crash in the pit lane entry, so that did cause that safety car. But if you're wondering, uh, and you saw Vapakut on pole, and now down is 16th coming into the pit lane. Uh, he did have a, a bit of a spin earlier on in the race, and that was him down and out. And he's going to need a miracle if he wants to get back into this race. His private comment has got a penalty for track limits behind the safety car. That's not ideal at all. But yeah, the pole sitter now down to 15th after that incident. Is indeed, and uh, let's see who the, the biggest gainer is then. Um, on the side, well, from that uh, five, Mens, Clock, and Legend all gaining up six positions from the start. Then, so good start from those drivers. Legend starting P8 up into P2 now, a very good start from him. Alfie uh, on those mediums, uh, still P4. So hasn't lost out too much. Paul has made his way up into P6 as well from P11. So good start from the championship leader as well. Is indeed. As uh, you said, Legend take P1. If he can get the uh, 10 second penalty removed, maybe even f maybe 5. I don't know how, how it works because if he has 5 seconds removed, will he get the other 5 seconds removed? I'm not, I'm not too sure because he has to, he has to come to, into the pits at some point. Um, it's going to be very interesting uh, for the stewards. Um, um, thanks for not sure, so I haven't got to make that, make that um, call or not, but it's been very difficult for the um, Legend, of course, uh, and uh, the stewards, but yeah. It's going to be interesting, but I think Legend's got to try to put that behind him and focus on the race uh, so he hasn't got any penalty at all. As uh, Otto is going to stay, stay out. I don't think anyone's going to come to the pits, I don't believe. Uh, at, the, at the end of that five, I can get my words out. Um, as yeah, everyone's now sticking with the tyres that we've got on at the moment. As the safety car should be coming in very shortly. Indeed it should, uh, if the top two do catch up to the back of Private Common and McLaughlin, which we should see them catch up fairly quickly. The car car's going pretty slow for the pack, so make sure they do catch up by the end of lap 6, so we can get back racing on lap 7 of 33 in this race. Barossa leads then from LSW Legend with that penalty after they both collided going through turn, th uh, turn 2. Legend getting the penalty for cutting the corner. As Alan's um, left to be, he's retired. Oh, oh my Jesus um, Owen had a scare of his life as um, Alfie brake checked in there. Um, I was just bored of it. That was very close for Owen losing his front leg. I'm sure he had the same heart attack as what I did. Uh, spectator there. Um, so <laughs> that was that's pretty close. Uh, I went, that was like millimeters. If you want to get your, your rollers out and see how close that was, but yeah, Owen just about survived with his front wing intact. <laughs> <laughs> so then. We'll see if uh, Bert Marlander in that Mercedes AMG GTR safety car is going to come into the pit lane at the end of this lap when he crosses the uh, second sector line and he should be peeling in. Yes, he does. So, Bad Otter will take us away then for this safety car restart on lap six, going on to lap seven of this race. 26 laps to go, I believe, when they cross the line. And we'll see what the Williams driver can do. Can he catch the McLaren driver napping? Morgan also looking pretty feisty behind as well to try and close the gap at the top of the championship with DPT Paul. And uh, there's not much room between Bad Otter and uh, the safety car here, so he's going to really need to back up the pack here and choose when he's going to go. As I just said, it's the safety car is a big W for the medium runners, and indeed it is, because it means they can catch back up now, and that will maybe help, help them in the long run in the race. And when is Bad Otter going to go? Is he going to go late? He is going to go late here, and he has gone. 
And has he caught Legend Nap in a bit? It looks like he has. And Alfie's got a really good restart as well on the medium. Because he's side by side here. Paul as well. And so is Paul with oh, his yeah. teammate Owen. And I think he's going to let him through. We'll see. And I think he's going to go around the outside here. Alfie's got the inside. And they're still going to go side by side going through turn three. And it looks like Alfie's got the position. He's been pushed through the corner by one of the Alpines. I think that's Owen. And Alfie now back up into P3. Paul passes teammate Owen. Moly is getting past VR now. Commence, they're still going side by side actually just ahead. And it looks like Moly has got it. Commence and Clock going side by side. Morgan and Alfie are going to go at it again. There's contact between the two. Uh, not sure where to look at the moment. And Morgan retakes. Paul was at the shaggy spinning at turn five. Um, I think they contact, I believe, the Predators. Uh, that is shaggy um, round uh, in P19. So that's that's his uh, race not going very well. Was a uh, yeah. I guess I got, oh my god, my voice, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's going in the highlights later. Um, uh, oh, right, let's start that again. Uh, it's happened. Uh, Paul got a good restart and got past his team at Owen uh, into turn one. Look, look like he had a run uh, on Morgan with Alfie, but stays in P5 for now. Uh, so yeah, that, um, that's going in the montage somewhere, <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, goodness <laughs> sake. That was brilliant, yeah. that was brilliant. I just saw Lan Danny D get past uh, Ellis, I think that was. Uh, uh, sorry, McLoggan get uh, past Ellis, sorry, for uh, P18. Uh, Danny D is going to make a move, though, into P15, past Predators. He, he might get past Orme as well. Uh, this is, he shouldn't send it, he doesn't. Or they might get a good run into turn three, that's it. Danny D is going to go down the inside. He's learned the brakes, but doesn't quite make the move. Uh, he's going to, uh, as Owen Quick puts on a penalty in P6. Second, let me add it this time at the end of the Ooh. race. And sorry, uh, Rappi Coot might go down the inside. Oh, he's looking yep. on Adrian. Adrian's gone a bit deep. Rappi has got the inside line, but Adrian will get the better exit and maybe we'll pull away. As uh, I think that's going to be battling done for this lap. As uh, importantly, Otter's um, got a second gap to Legend. Um, that's going to not be any DRS for Legend unless he can get um, back within that one second window uh, in the final sector. See whether he can. Ooh, we've got some scrambling going on for P12 between Adrian Vapi Coop, Private Comet, and Danny D. This is a four way battle here between P12. And it looks like Private Comet sends it on the inside of Vapi Coop. Managed to start on pole, unfortunately, down in 13th. And looking to make his way back through the field. There's nearly contact. Comet goes a bit deep now into the penultimate corner. This might give Danny D a chance then to go get him. And he is going to go get him. As they go around the final corner, DRS now enabled now. As the gap is now closed underneath the second, and Danny D now up into 14th as Private Comet comes into the pit lane, presumably with damage. Uh, I'll see which change to front wing. As uh, yeah, like we said, the gap's 13 in the top three of um, the second and nine seven, so it's going to be crucial for the DRS. You just got it, yeah. did Legend. Uh, so yeah, uh, Private Comet does indeed uh, change the front wing. So that is him from the of the race, unless he gets a safety car. Uh, in the race, there's going to be more battling down to turn four. It's going to be loads of people for the battle for P11 between the two Mercedes. As uh, Rafa Kuz is going to get involved, of course, our host for this evening. So if we go down the inside of turn seven, he's going to be a brave man if he does. He doesn't sensibly back out. Always Danny D hit him from behind. I'm not sure if Danny got any damage from that. Uh, but the Mercedes is still battling for P11, not quite in the point of premonitions at the moment. So if Aging can go down the inside of uh, Sotso Clock, he doesn't he stays behind for now? Apicu, however, locking up for the first Mercedes, he's gonna go round the outside of turn 12 and makes the move, I believe. I'm gonna side by side. Lovely move. Turn 13, yes, sir. that lovely move from Apicu is now up into P12 and now eyeing up the other Mercedes, uh, sort of clock for P11. He's going bored. There is that nip of the slap. He's going bored. So, yeah. Get him going down into turn one. He's got a bit of battery to use, but so does the Mercedes as well. Clock, and clock has the arrest as well, just. So that might ha that might uh, deter him from the move. I think Look at the gap for the lead. For now. It's really closed oh, yeah. up. Yeah. So is it? I think because Legend really? had DRS. Legend had DRS on that lap, of course. So if Ooh. it can gain it naturally, let's see whether Legend can, can go down the inside of Otto. Of course, they battled one to four and made contact. And they go down inside turn five. He's going to make the move stick, I believe. Otto's going to get good, better traction though on the exit, and Otto just about. Keeps hold of P1, but it's going to be a great battle, hopefully. Hopefully, less contact this time. Um, but uh, also, keeps hold of P1 for now. Uh, as Legend is determined to get past him, that's what happened, I believe, one that four. 
Indeed it does. And this helps Alfie and, and Paul quite a bit as well on the mediums because it means they can stay within the DRS of the top three cars now. That's going to help them later on in this race. As Legend picks up a penalty. Legend penalty. Track limit. It's 13 seconds now. And this is going to get removed. Indeed. As Rapikou is now right on the back of clock again. Uh, we've seen the Alfa Romeo closing in the past lap as clock has a bit of a lock up there. So this might be Rapikou's chance to go get him down the main straight. But we are going to go back to the front very quickly because we'll see if the gap at the top does close up. It's currently 8 tenths, so we might be a move, but we'll stick Morgan's with it. Morgan's very close to Legend here. Morgan might overtake Legend for, P, uh, for P2 here. Morgan's not the stick stream, using all his battery, pretty much. But he stays behind uh, the McLaren for now with the power of the DRS. As Moly gets past Morris, I believe, for P7. Go from, move from Moly, as Rebecca's well, done the inside. Oh, Morgan's got Legend! Of, uh, such a clock. He's up his P2, Morgan. So, just... fantastic move, I think that was, going into turn four. And now Morgan can go close up on Bad Otter now. So Morgan might actually be in a good position here to maybe try and steal the race victory. Yeah, the flag. That, that is like the Impreza's going, um, making contact to believe at turn three, so it's not ideal for them. And they're going to be fuming at each other. So that is Predators and AD. Um, uh, or struggling in this race to get any points, unfortunately for them. As, as uh, I believe that is Prince making the second turn eight. However, uh, Vapor Q isn't going to come as he made the start error himself. But Rebecca Key making his way through the field quite nicely and he's won the he's got one of the freshest tyres in the field. Um, if you look at the tyre race, he's actually got five of that freshest tyres and everyone in front of him. Um whether it's by, whether it's by the softs or the mediums. Um so as mm. everyone I believe has one stop to make unless people can make mediums go like a hundred laps around this track, I'm not sure you can. As the Danny Day gets the penalty in P seventeen. So, it's four tenths of a second. Is. Can Morgan make it work going down into turn one? He's got the DRS, he's got the toe. Can he get past the Williams going down into turn one? He's going to have a look, but he can't make it work. And this means Legend can now catch up a little bit as well. And Morgan is going to save it going down to the hairpin of turn five, but try and make it an easier move. He is going to get DRS again, but Legend maybe. is going to catch up as well. Oh, we're going to have that down there. I yeah, was almost made the move into turn four, but um, thought more wisely of it actually backed out. So let's see, as VR46 probably gets a good run, he's actually got a lot of battery to use as um, VR46 sitting in his DRS train, of course. As Napa uh, got past the clock, I'm not sure if he, um, if he uh, commented on that, but clock is now up to 11 and catching comments as a uh, private comment and as Daddy has come to the pits for a new set of tyres uh, on that Red Bull, mm -hmm. having a good day. Um, oh, and the Arsenal is yeah, that it's was Morris. Really can VR make it work? Going into turn 10. He's going to have a look. He's going to send it down the inside on the Ferrari. Can he make it work? He's going to have to push him out wide. And Morris has got the inside line going into turn 12 and 13. Can he make it work, though? VR could behind him as well. All these yellow flags have the gone off in the Mercedes. It is. He's going to stand with this battle with VR. He's going to send it down the inside at 14. And he is going to get the position, but Morris is going to get a really good exit because of that. And he might be able to go really overtake the Alpha Male on the straight because VR isn't going to have DRS, actually. And I think Alfie's going, Alfie's going to go P3. to P3. Yes, he is. So we're going on board with that very quickly because Alfie's going to take P3. But now we go back on board with Morris because he's going to get past VR for P8 now. As Paul's Paul can get past Legend as well. Down the inside of turn three. Very good, a very aggressive move from Paul. I just caught the end of that. As uh, Predator gets past clock as well, uh, P15. As uh, yeah, Paul makes up two million runners now, uh, and trying to make some moves on the soft runners. As those tyres and the 12 laps, 12 laps old are going to be very much past their best, and the medium guys are going to try and make some moves now. Uh, as Legend is falling through the field quite and Owen is also now caught up to his trade. And then there's about a three second gap to the likes of Moly Ooh. and uh, Battle for seven. Alfie's just got back Morgan for P2. Oh yeah, I've just so, seen like, that. so those mediums are now coming into play for the medium runners because the softs are starting to die out and maybe Alfie is going to get DRS going down into turn one. He might be able to close his gap on Balotter even more. So Alfie is also in a very good position to win this race as well as DBT Pool as well. The, the alternate strategy is working wonders round here it seems for these two. So in very good pace are these two. So let's stay on board with it. Let's go back, uh, back down to DBT Pool because he's got some battery and DRS as uh, two come in. The race leader... As What's for people, Pit? Yeah, it is now the uh, pit stop window for the soft compound runners, but can VR go chase after CSC Morris down into turn one? Both have DRS. So I think it is going to stay the same, unfortunately. As uh, Paul has just took the lead, actually. Paul is now into the lead. As Legends on the intermediates. Oh, um, um, 
Um, now, unless he's seen something we don't, and we've got yellow flags, so I'm not, someone may have gone off, but uh, I think Legend has just had quite a bit of an error there in this race, and that is really going to cost him, because I think he may have been on for a podium. Well, uh, Shaggy goes for Fakuda. I think it's Fakuda may, may have made a mistake, I'm being honest, because he was not with Adrian and Shaggy, wasn't he? He was with uh, VR46 and that train. So I, mean, I think Fakuda is the one that had the off. Um, he might, he might even have front wing damage with the way he's driving. I can't really see him. It's Daniel Dees is fast after the race, whether he's in P19 and then last. Uh, uh, he's lost. He's already lost 1.3 seconds to DVT Paul, yes. and Owen is now right on the back of him. So uh, Alfie's had a really big issue in this race that's now just set him back. Yes, it's Vapor. Always oh, McCuffin goes down the inside of Vapor Coop. Coop's definitely got damage in this race. I'm not sure what happened to him, but Coop was on, was on the combat driver, and he is now. A full through the fields is battling in front of him as well. That is going to be Asian and Shaggy going uh, side by side into the prospect corner. And that is Shaggy now up into P8 on his mediums. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, if it's the pit again. Um, I'll be honest, because he's, he's in an 8 lap old mediums. He might go to the end if he really stretches it. There's uh, more stuff on his now pit in. So, so we've got a few there's Morris now, now the, I believe, the only soft runner to stay out. Yes. Um, McLoggan obviously needs yes. to pit as well. He pit onto the soft, so I don't think he's going to take them to the end, but we'll see. Maybe a safety car might save him late on. We'll go back on board with VR then, because he's closing up to Morris for P3 now it is, uh, on track. We'll see what he can do, because the mediums will now be quicker than the softs. Alfie's starting to catch up a little bit now to DVD Paul. He's getting about a tenth of a second so far on this lap. So we'll see what the Red Bull driver can do as Morris nearly loses it out of Samson corner turn eight. Those softs really are gone, and he does... Maybe need to come into the pit lane now. I think he will do the end of this lap. And I see the VR46 get can make the move where he just waits um, just to get DRS uh, yeah, for the main straight as VR. Yeah, as VR's got a lot of battery to use to catch up to the um well, the two front runners, uh, Paul and Alfie. As uh VR46 will probably just wait for DRS he does indeed. And uh, I presume Morris will pull him in the pits uh, this lap and we'll see. Yes he does. So that's uh, VR46 now free of the troubles, and he's got Commence right behind him. However, he's not getting any battery at all, although Commence has got the run on VR46, but he's going to um, stay behind him uh, for the moment. So then, lap 16 of this race. We're about to reach the halfway point now in this Grand Prix. DBT Paul leads then. Uh, the top four yet to pit because they have been on the alternate strategy. Paul and Alfie doing very good races on these alternate strategies. I see Gold Eggfry has uh, made a comment on Legend's Intermediate Choice, taking his inspiration from Mason Gammon at Imola. Uh, that paid off for Mason Gammon, just about. I don't think this one's going to pay off, though, for Legend as he did come back in uh, for the drives. And it looks like uh, Ellis and Private Comet are going to be battling out for P14. Private Comet getting past the Aston Martin driver now. This is... Uh... Morris has actually come back on too bad a position because he stayed out a couple more laps. He's behind. I think he's actually closer to the Modi than what he was before. Um, so, yeah, Morris hasn't done too bad staying on this couple of laps uh, on those softs. There's, uh, there's, there's a couple of gaps now in the field. There isn't the standard DRS trend you might see in like, the McLean division, for example. Um, uh, and there's a couple of gaps in the field. And it's interesting how the. Um, as also picks up a penalty. That's Ooh, actually huge. Oh, as no, the, that's Alfie! Uh, that's off of the final that's corner! Alfie. So the man has hit his race. That could be his race gone now. Yep. So then, DBT Alfie having a massive error at the final corner. Uh, could could have been on for maybe second place and maybe even the win. But getting it up out of the final corner, didn't quite see the full thing. But that is now maybe his chances of a podium may be gone now. It is indeed. Uh, so I might see a move for P3. And then mine's is a bit closer than what it was to VR then. Uh, next person could be Morris or Moni maybe? Nope. Morris stays behind uh, Medi for now. And this is makes him move into turn 3. Be very bored if he does. No, he stays behind. I'll keep an eye whether he makes him move into turn 5. He's going to get probably get this next year as, as Comet makes another penalty. But that's now his like, 12, 12 second penalty maybe. As uh, Morris now stays behind Moni for... The P12, I think a neck P7, I want to say, as uh, Alice from Comet's going to help him go side by side into uh, turn 5 and just about keeps it, um, gives the children a space rider. As I'm going to go side by side into turn 7. 
just by keeping it clean and come because sent that in inside he's gonna no. go it's, it's a spin it though very close there to losing it was private comet and he does hold on to the position very nicely in p14 so good overtake from him have we got anything else uh, going through the field morris is closing back up to money now 12 and this could be a, a crucial overtake in this race yeah, flag. That's legend legend. Legend. he's had another off at yeah. the back so his race is going from bad to worse for the division three season seven champion here in Portimao, but can Morris go get Moly down into turn one, Arben? Let's let's have a little look. He's getting, getting close. He is indeed going to get past the P12, as that is Morris, like I said, up into a, I believe in that P7. I could be wrong. Um, and all the medium guys, met pistols, could be in that P6 actually because of Alfie's mistake, uh, of course. As uh, yeah, so the, uh, the gaps. Um, uh, Widening, if I can get my words out, is I know it's commenced, it's got lost the arrest to the after six, it's very low on um, battery, so he had 0% going across the line last lap, he's not out of the arrest, and that's going to allow us on 12 lap hold mediums, might go to the end, there's going to be a bit of a risk, or it's going to be a major risk actually, but um, if he does do it, then he's going to put himself into a great position. We saw in the um, in the race that um, the two Alpha Tauris of uh, Griffiths and uh, Zydra play themselves into the race by Taking on the safety car and taking those tyres and um, trying to um, always Morris because I'm apparently there. But yeah, so the Alpha Tauris um, doing the old uh, strat strategical players to get themselves into the race. See how uh, Shaggy gets on. He's now going to uh, put pressure on Commence here, I believe, into uh, turn five and it's their rest streak. See what Shaggy can, can get past uh, Commence here. Gets all over the back of the Williams and gets the arrest. He's going to use his battery. He's going to go down the inside. It should be very simple. Maybe this commence can hang it around the outside. Let's see whether he does. He does just a switch back just to Williams. And uh, Shaggy uh, uh, blocks it off. And that is now Shaggy up into a P3. But it's not it's not net P3. Uh, if he has to pit, but if he doesn't need to pit, then that is him up into, uh, well, I guess the net race leaders, I suppose. Um, if he doesn't need to pit. Potentially, I have just had a look at gap to leader as well, and uh, say if uh, Shaggy does need to pit, I think Badotta would be the net race leader, and it is 22 seconds from Paul to Badotta, so DBT Paul could potentially be leading this race on the alternate strategy from P11. The man in the lead, the championship, is driving uh, like a champion, you could say so far. It certainly is a man possessed as well, a level three, you could say. Is uh. Meanwhile, Bad Otter's probably going to try and get past Otter here. Of course, on 14 lap fresher mediums, is probably going to try and force an overtake here. It's a yellow flag. That is Danny D, I believe, happening at the moment. Or might be Alfie, I'm not too sure. Nice. Uh, and Alfie's in the pits, so that's going to be Danny D. As, uh, thankfully for Otter, Clock just pulled in the pits. So that is going to uh, leave Otter free, sorry. Because <laughs> uh, Alfie now uh, cuts out the pits to see where he is. Of course, had that spin, so he's going to be um, not have the trap position he once had. <laughs> He's going to come out behind Moly, I believe, in uh, P12. Yes, he is. So that is Alfie. Losing a lot of track position that he wants to have. If he, I reckon if he didn't have a spin, he'd be Ooh. about where Morgan is at the moment. As is a yellow flag. Who is that? I don't know. Uh, I think it's, it's, one of the, it's one of the Alpines. Is that Paul? That's Paul that's coming up, Paul. I think. That's Paul yeah, that's coming up to turn Paul, eight. Yeah. yeah. So his lead has now dropped down to only two tenths of a second to the R&B to the lead. Looks like some good on the side. So, so he's time Comtex is gone. curse. So yeah, we have at, uh, once, it, what is it with us on Friday night comms? We just curse everyone. I know. For goodness sake. Yeah. We're sorry, Paul. So uh, now the gaps are the leader. Uh, for who is the front guy? It's only 13 seconds. So this might be the race victory for Paul. Maybe now gone. I presume he is going to come into the pit lane for the sauce. Yes, he is. So he is going to need to just. I don't. I don't. I can't even get my words out. Get every, get every <laughs> bit of life out of those softs um, to try and take this race victory to make it three in a row on the first three races. We'll see what DBT Paul can do then. Down at Alpine, they strap on a fresh set of softs with just over 12 laps to go now. What can the championship leader do? Shaggy is now closing back up to VR46. I don't think he's going to be close enough to go for a move though. I'm interested to see the gap between Otter and Shaggy. I, I, I try to work it out of my head. Um, I think it's over 10 seconds, I believe. So, and it's, there's only uh, 12 laps to go. Uh, 13, if you include the final lap, as Preds comes into the pits, he's going to come out. People too, but a lot of work to what to do if he wants to get in the points. 
as yeah, as Paul is now going to be on the back of his Mody Morris uh, battle, which has been going on the entire race. As uh, I don't, I don't think Mody should make it too difficult for Paul, um, considering he's on a completely different strategy at the moment. And of course, as the Hassan Panoli, always going to be down, uh, will stop behind Mody uh, in turn eight, where he made that mistake on the previous lap before. Also on those fresh set of softs. Will it go down the inside? It's going to go round. Oh, and they make slight contact. This is the other flag. That's a shaggy. I think I think Shaggy made the mistake. Um, at the front, it's all kicking off here. As um, Paul just get past Morris. Oh, oh sorry. Um, maybe as he's going to chase after Morris. Uh, uh, yeah, it's all kicking off here. As uh, people in the pits. Uh, I think the gap to DBT Paul and Bell Otto is around nine seconds. He did gain about 1.2 seconds ish around that lap. So Paul could be in a very good place here at the end of the Grand Prix to maybe try and retake the race victory. As he's closing up on Morris now. But he, I he don't think he's got DRS. Mm, yes, he does. So he has closed up, up enough. So Paul now up into a net P5 now after Commence comes into the bit lane. He's going to send it down the inside of the Ferrari. There's contact. He's not That's quite going to make around it work. That's Morgan as well. the wall. There he is at the exit of turn four. So the Aston Martin's round after a, such a good race for SLR Morgan. He isn't going to be able to get the points he wanted out of today. Paul right on the back of Morris now. And this is for a net podium position. If he can catch up to the Ferrari again, going through towards turn 7 and turn 8. Is Paul going to make the move here? Is he going to wait? He's going to wait behind for a bit longer. And he's going to try and maybe get him into the final set. He has a little slide out of Samsung corner once again. This is going to be a fantastic battle between the Ferrari and the Alpine of Morris and Paul. Lap 22 or 33 here. Paul... He's looking to maybe try and take the race victory. Closing up again. Is he going to have a look going into turn 13? No, he's not. So he's going to go get him down the main straight. Commence comes into the pit lane for his final pit stop. Morgan gets a time penalty for track limits and he's not having a good day at all. He's now lost position to Shaggy. Oh, and there's contact again as Morris gets a penalty for going off track there. And this should be Charles play for Paul down the main straight. Always VR and Brady was going to make contact behind them. Uh, Velga has got quite lucky, but VR is going to get past Mody, um, into, uh, the, I think it's an EP5 at the moment. As Alfie's going to go down inside it as well, Alfie, of course, made that mistake, but a lot of people make, making mistakes around him. He's going to put himself back up into potential for this race win, as he is, has no penalties, and he's not up into P6. Here's the Red Bull, he's going to chase after VR, right in front of him, as, um, Morris is now on those medium tyres, going to be struggling as hell as, um, he, Pressure soft kind of the tires go hunting him down, and now the gap between Otter and Owen um, for Paul is six seconds. However, of course, that three second time penalty makes his job even easier. It definitely might do so. This race might be designed on penalties. Both Alpines are going to finish on the on the podium at the moment, so it's going to be a good race for Alpine. Owen would be happy after not having the best of weekends in Imola if he can get a podium out of this race. But we're going to go back on board with the battle for P5 then between VR and Morris, because as you said, Morris might be a sitting duck on those mediums. Compared to VR Softs, he is currently 10 seconds away from the lead. So the gap will close as they cross the line. It will be 10 laps to go. And VR should be able to get Morris down the straight, do you think? Uh, I'd like to think so. And let's see if VR can get past. He's going to get the switch. He's going to get a dead rest. And it should be a fairly easy move. Um, similar to what he did to Moly on the previous lap. As Paul says, first lap the race for an 18 2. I'm pretty sure that's quicker than what some people did in qualifying. As. Um, as VR does indeed get past Morris, and he is going to be up into uh, P4 at, at the moment. As Alfie is also going to be trying to follow, always make contact. VR, Morris goes a bit deep there and, hit, and hits the back of VR, and this is going to put all under pressure from Alfie. And Alfie should be able to make the move up into P5. Let's see, he can go down the inside in the red ball, see whether, whether he makes the move. He does indeed, just about. And Morris is now going to try and get the switch back here. But uh, uh, Alfie makes the move up into P5. As there's any more battles um, for, for the thing, I think we've often got past Adrian there, up into P11. As, uh, as the Shaggy puts up freezing time penalty, he is now, I believe, in P8 at the moment. That's going to be his, uh, I think, nine seconds for him. Um, no, it's, I know it's his first, so he's got freezing time penalty. Um, Shaggy. And let's see, as also, um, crucially, DBT Alpha is not the rest of uh, BR46, who's also got quite a bit of pace in the Alpha America today. As uh, Alpha is also trying to uh, catch up to the back, uh, Deputy Paul, the gap is 1.2 seconds. So, 
Um, he's got the time to take that down if he wants to try and win this race. There's the gap between. You know, the Paul's actually gained, I think, over 1.5 seconds on the stop alone, and he's still got seven laps to go. So Paul's in prime position to win this race, and once he keeps it on track, uh, we've, we've already jinxed him on this race. Let's um, <laughs> not jinx him again. Um, as only puts up a time penalty in P7. So that's not a deal for him. Oh, um, and McClog has lost it in P11. He's clipped the inside curve at turn one. And that's the McLaren driver round. He was having a bit of a battle with one of the Mercedes cars. I think it was Adrian. And that's the McLaren driver round. So not a good day for him. I was going to go on to Paul. And I do wonder if Owen is going to make it easy for him if he does catch up. Because obviously if he does get within three seconds of Bad Otter. Then he will take the race victory with DBT Paul and make it. Three race victories out of three. And it looks like Preds and Adrian are now going to go at it. For P11 he does. On the three lap old softs, moves himself up into 11th place now, past the Mercedes driver. He does indeed, as uh, Velfort is very close to getting DRS to Paul here. Uh, if he can have a good um, two corners, he might be able to get in. It's, it's, oh, I think he's just outside, I don't think he's going to get it, um, unless he rinses his battery, let's see. Um, the gap is actually 9 tenths, I'm not too sure when the detection point is. I believe it's that line now. So that, as let's see, yes, VR does indeed get DRS or DPT Paul. That's going to help us race massively. And this race, is, although Paul's going to be looking in front of him, of course, to get past Owen on, on Otter, he's got to be careful behind him as well. I'm um, coming on board with Shaggy. He's closing up to his teammate Moly now. I do wonder if Moly's just going to let him through here because they're on different strategies. You can see how much quicker Shaggy is through turn one compared to his teammate. Is Moly going to let him go? Doesn't look like it. Or is he just going to make it easy for him going down into turn five? I think that's what it might be between the two Alpha Tauris. Shaggy is going to have DRS on his teammate. His teammate is using, so he's battling this one. As Shaggy is going to send it down the inside of his teammate. And the two Alpha Tauris are not working together here. Shaggy does get through though on his teammate. Up into P7 now. Always pulling this spot at turn eight. Yeah, he had a heart attack then. He, his wheel was everywhere. And uh, yeah, Paul just about surviving. Um... In turn eight, I was a, just a bottom of a half a second, and he almost binned it. Um, however, he's now got out of the rest of the R46 crucially. Um, so, yeah, the R46 had the rest for a lap. But, um, Paul has now got out of that muscle window, um, I believe. Although, it's might go back down to nine tenths again. Let's see. The R46 is going to use his battery. Will he be able to get it? I think he's just out as a uh, comment against another penalty in this race. As, yeah, the R46 does not have the rest uh, for this lap. One man who has got DRS though is commencing P9. Going to go chase after Moly. Doesn't even need DRS to get past him. The Williams driver are using all the battery he has and the fresh soft compound tyres to get through. And now up into P8 for the Williams driver. And he might be able to gain more after penalties. We will see. Lap 27 in this race then. Bad Otter still leads out in front in the other Williams. But with penalties, he's going to drop behind a few places. Owen as well with pens. But if DBT Paul can get within three seconds of the race leader, he will take victory. Indeed. As so, Alfie's slightly drop, uh, dropped off his train, and Morris is doing well to hold his own as uh, Comet comes into the pits, presenting for a set of softs to set the fastest lap and then signal the return in the pits. That was quite a poor day for Private Comet getting disqualified and qualify. Of course, I had a good start, and yeah, he's retired in the pit lane, so unfortunately for the hash driver, as uh, Moley now um, trying to keep up commence, uh, although he doesn't have much battery left, as Moley, as Sims only battling up the front, um, it doesn't seem to be. At the moment, as uh, Paul is now putting out the gap to be of uh, VR46, uh, so he's going to not have the rest again. So, see, as uh, Shaggy's now going to get on the back of Boris now, uh, he's gonna, he is going to get the rest of the slap. Yes, as hopefully, the Comets car doesn't get him. I, I, I don't think he is. As uh, let's see if Shaggy goes in on the back of Morris. It's, the gap is nine tenths, so I don't think he will do anything into turn one. Whether he will get the benefit of the DRS would put them along. In this race, it's been already on lap 28, Corey. Already. Yeah, this is uh, this race has gone very, very quickly, and I'm still very intrigued for this battle for the race victory because the gap is still closing. Out in front, it's 4.2 seconds. If DPT Paul can find another 1.2 seconds, he will take victory with laps to go after penalties. But I'm sure he would want to win it on track. And with those fresh song compound tyres on the alternate strategy after starting P11, maybe that's going to work out for him in the Alpine. And he's, oh, he's had a bit of a moment there, and he's now just lost a few tenths, so he's going to need to try a bit more speed, but keep it on track. VR is trying to follow him through as well, and VR might even get onto the podium here. 
It could if it gets DRS. He's been trying to get DRS for multiple laps. As uh, uh, as uh, Danny Day, sorry, uh, gets a penalty. Although, however, he is in last. As uh, the Aston Martin swap positions as Morgan's had an awful day. Um, as he's caught, he was of course uh, second in the championship before the start of this race, and that'll probably change after this weekend. As uh, VR doesn't quite get DRS again, so he's probably getting quite frustrated. He hasn't got the benefit of that um, rear wing being open to catch it off the back of Paul. As uh, Shaggy's right. going to get past more to FP6, um, or he should do. He's going to pull to the inside, probably. Yep, he's going to go down the inside. It's going to make the move stick, and Morris won't answer back at the moment. It's not Samsung calling, so he won't answer back. I had to get the joke in. As, yeah. As, uh, oh, this is going to flag. Legend. Is, I think it's Legend. His day has gone from bad to worse. I thought, I thought that was a race lead there. I was going to get really excited. Oh, <laughs> so, well, Legend's got another penalty for corner cutting. That has just summed up his race for LSW Legend. Yeah. So then. Yeah, I had to get the joke in there. I know. I almost missed the entire race. I had to, I had to get it in there. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah. Ooh, always, and the gap. Speaking of Samsung Cord, the Morris almost lost it. The gap for the lead, uh, uh, between Paul and the leaders now 3.2. Paul could still win this race. I really don't want to jinx him, but he's he's, he's <laughs> perilously close now. If he wants to take this victory, and look how close he is to DRS to his teammate Owen Howe as well, as uh, VR has dropped back a bit now. And he he's not going to get DRS again. Indeed, as uh, let's get, let's get gap to leader um, if I can. It is 3.1 seconds at the moment. Closing, but is it going to close enough for DVT Paul? With four laps to go now, can he get that race victory? Is his teammate going to make it hard for him? Don't think he will. As he is not going to get DRS yet, but he should really get DRS down the main straight if he can stick within a second. I don't see why he wouldn't. We're going to go down to Adrian, though, in the Mercedes because he's closing up to his teammate. And it looks like Prez has had an off. Prez has had an off. Was in P11. Yes, and he's now down to 13th, as is the Haas driver. And Paul is now within DRS. This is going to be the main part of the race then. And run on board with the wrong driver. There we go. Oh, as he's made another mistake out of turn 8. Paul is not liking Samsung Corner at all. But he's just got to try and stay within a second of his teammate here and not, and not drag VR with him. And it might be a double pony for Alpine if they can make it work here. And he I do think seconds. that if Paul gets DRS, he will, he, will win, he will win the race, I think. Because he's going to pull, of course, he's going to gain time for free. It's the DRS. So let's see. Uh, as I can I get into all there you go. So Paul is going to get free DRS, and he should be even the three seconds um, by the end of the race. So that's Paul pretty much sorted then. If he keeps it on track. Um, just, just, just taking the race victory. Let's see with Owen. Let's um, pull past. I don't think he is at the moment. It's too far back. As uh, always, Paul made the mistake there. He gets a oh, penalty. That's another so turning point. That's, that's we have six then. It's another jinx uh, for us. And now VR could be, like you said, in a very good place to win this race after penalties. And it's only three point six. So VR Morris 46 commences, is a strong Morris goes side by side, commences in the gravel. It wasn't very, it wasn't very clean from turn one onwards, and commences ended up in the grass. <laughs> that, that is Morris. Um, whether it's whether he unfairly or not, he's not up into P7. Um, but that will probably be the in the stewards if Commence decides to report it and what's going on. Paul's just had Paul another Owen. moment of turn eight, and he's still stuck behind his teammate. But this is now for position with penalties because they both have three seconds. This should be a pretty easy move for Paul still because he has got the fresh uh, soft compound tyres. Sem is happy in the chat because he can see the Williams a driver of Bad Otter in the lead of the race. But is VR isn't within DRS and he's not within three seconds still. But Paul stuck behind his teammate. This might bring VR uh, into DRS maybe. It's going to be close. 1.1 seconds. He isn't going to get it. And Paul is going to get past his teammate. Here. We've got yellow yeah, flag. round in the other That's Williams. The round. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. As uh, Bad Otter still leads then, Paul moves up into P2 past his teammate, and I do wonder if Owen is going to do a bit of a defensive job here. Always oh, VR and Alfie getting closer to turn one, will Alfie make a move into, into turn three, he's going to go Ooh. down the inside, and VR shuts the door. Just about keeps it clean. But and Alfie Alfie's might get a second bite of cherry here. Oh, Always oh made goodness. a massive mistake. <laughs> he nearly loses Jeez. it at turn four. I need a quick drink. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I'll keep it going. As the, as the uh, Alpines now 
uh, try and take off the bad otter in the Williams. Uh, of course, was my, uh, my Alfred Mayer and Kratz from last season. It's bad otter. Uh, again, that famous race thing in Hungary. Were, were they be able to re um, repeat the same feat uh, as otter? Is on this is not but now of course he has a penalty to deal with. Um, I don't think that the other system is in, in within three seconds. It's actually two point nine now. As more bits of penalty, it's gonna be very close up to the line. If if Yar can get DRS to throw in, then he's gonna be in the driving seat. Although Ooh. the gap is now two point eight seconds. The leader. <coughs> final lap is about to start. Then Ellis picks up a penalty. But Bad Otter rounds the final corner to start the final lap. Lap thirty three thirty three in this race. But neither of the top three on track might take, won't take victory here as it stands. It's going to go to the man who's P4 at the moment, VR46. Who is going to take it then? Final lap starts, and he's just got DR, uh, DRS does VR, so the gap is closing. Six tenths of a second deficit. He's got one of the uh, Aston Martins. That's Morgan off. Another driver whose day's gone from bad to worse. Same with Legend. He's gone off again as well. But then let's go back to this as battle. As many Morris gone battling. Indeed they uh, are, we're going to stick with VR, that's for seven for him. because he's closing up to Owen, but he can't close up enough, but he still is closing up enough for the race victory, it's 2.1 seconds now, between Bad Otter and VR, we've got yellow flags everywhere, drivers going off, tyres are gone on the final lap, two seconds, this is VR's race victory as it stands, but can he Walker, keep it together? Morris on the inside, V8, Coot's going to get past uh, Morris I believe, yes he uh, is, of course Coot hasn't got a penalty, so... They can go side by side, uh, going to turn 7 and to turn 8. Yep, Morris has so kept the position from Coot. I'm going to go back to the front because this the race is about over. As, oh, and the deeper to Paul's lost it, he's off. That's Paul off. He he's has. a bit of a dangerous rejoin in, ahead of his teammate. So Owen's had to back off a bit and VR's going to be right on the back, but Bad Otter's going to round the final corner. He's going to take the race victory on track. Paul is going to finish P2, but who's going to take it? I think VR is going to win this race. Yes, he is. VR46 takes victory. Alfie takes P2. Fantastic drive. Balotto gets P3. Paul gets P4. Owen P5 in the end. Shaggy P6. Moni P7. Uh, uh, yeah, Moni P7. Morris P8. Oh Rappaport so P9. P8. And Commence takes P10. But Preds gets that final points per paying position on penalties. Who makes the most positions up? It is going to be VR46, and, I've, uh, and I'm going to say VR46 is my driver of the day. With that amazing strategy call, a, a fantastic drive for himself, do you think? I think, I think so too. Uh, absolutely brilliant driver, not getting the penalties crucially. Um, you're seeing that not getting penalties just reward you in positions, and uh, VR46 and Alfie making the most of that. Of course, Alfie had that spin, if you remember, and the bottom of the corner made his comeback. Um, into P2, and yeah, I'm sure us would be gutted to uh, not get the race win after having quite a dominant drive. If it, if it wasn't top, if the race wasn't decided by penalties, you, you must say, because he was in the lead for a lot of that race. Indeed, as Owen has now put, gone into the chat instant said P5 and no setup. Yes, please. So he's done very well with that, and very happy with the P5 at Alpine, P4 and P5 at Alpine. So Paul will extend his championship lead then. But a fantastic drive from VR46 in the Alfa Romeo on the alternate strategy. He started down in around what, P14, I think it was, to take victory on the alternate strategy. A fantastic drive from himself to take victory. Can you get the top three in the party for us, please? Driver Dane game goes to VR. I will try to. Uh, some people if I can. Can you remind me of the podium? It was not a... Uh, Battle uh, Alfie and Alfie yeah. and yeah. VR, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm fine. So then, let's go through the race classification again then. VR46 takes uh, P1 with a fantastic drive from 13th on the grid on the alternate strategy. DBT Alfie finishes P2 in the Red Bull. Bad Otter, P3 in the Williams. DBT Paul, P4 for Alpine. And Owen Howe, P4 and P5 for Alpine. A very good job from them. Shaggy takes P6 with his teammate Moly P7. Rapid Coot 8, commence 9th, Errol Predators takes the final points paying position, a strong giant from him as well. Clock 11th, Morris 12th, Adrian 13th, McLoggin 14th, Ellis 15th, Danny D 16th, Morgan 17th. Legend, after a tough day, finishes 18th with the fastest lap. Won't get the point for that though, Private Comet and Allen, the two retirees from this race. Have we got the drivers in the party yet? Just need one more. I don't think Otter's going to join us, I don't think. I will um, I'll try, I'll try again, but I don't think he's going to be joining us. We'll give it a minute. I'll send one, I'll send one more invite. And if he doesn't join, then where these two?
Yeah, I definitely think we're joining. So, so then, go with uh, uh, P1 and 2. Uh, yeah, Bad Otter uh, finishes P3 for Williams then, so he'll be happy with that. Three and a half tenths for second it was after penalties at the line between VR and Alfie. And uh, how do you want to do interviews, you said? Um, I don't mind. I, I, I don't mind if I was doing interviews. Uh, I'll let, I'll let you interview VR. VR. <laughs> Since he's obviously your pre uh, one of your previous teammates. Remember to take your boxes as well. The driver's in the party. Yeah. And let's get uh, underway then for these race interviews. Let me just give the game a quick restart there. Very quickly. So, I'm doing my DVR now, yeah. Okay. I'm going to wait for that. Uh, uh, there we go. Okie right. dokie then. Uh, let's get underway then for the interviews. Uh, Alf, uh, Alfie, you took P2 then. Uh, I believe on uh, yes, you made it into Q3 on the mediums, uh, fantastically. So can you talk us through your race and uh, your P2 finish? Uh, no, it's disappointment at the end of the um, qualifying mediums. I just never expected this uh, clean track. This is well for this because I've never been from nowhere. So I turned up in quality, obviously got done in mediums, but brilliant and um, disappointed not to be on uh, the pole. I feel sure I did a solid bit in my last lap. But front row nonetheless. And, um, start the race a bit testy, just first of all, but we still took our turn out. Um, but after that, I think it was just a bit of a. Oh, sorry, do you mind taking your box uh, quickly? Because you can't hear you. Is it? Oh, oh brilliant. Never got a glitch then. Ah, what's new? Anyway, carry on. Indeed, it's definitely going to help you out in this championship fight as well. Uh, we've got Spain next week. Uh, how are you feeling for that? Congratulations yourself. We have got uh, Bad Otter in the party now, so we'll uh, get interviewing him if he does have a mic. Are you here, Bad Otter? Oh no, he has left. Uh, that's a shame. Okay, so I'm going to hand over to Arvin then for the race winner, VR46. Hey then, VR. Um, I'm taking the race winner from P13 on the grid. Uh, just go off your emotions and, of course, uh, benefiting from all the badness in front of you. And uh, people from the game pen, it's just describe how your race went and um, how are you feeling now? Just taking the race win. To be honest, I'm uh, shocked because I do not know how I managed to keep up with Paul and everyone. And when he spun, I was like, I could win this here. And obviously, just tried to keep up. And eventually, I saw everyone get penalties, and I didn't have one. And yeah, I just lost all those, basically. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fantastic result for you, of course. Um, making, making the mistakes and uh, people uh, will make mistakes in front of you. Um, like we said, uh, spending this week, how are you feeling for that? It isn't one of my greatest tracks, but I'll try to get points there. It isn't, mate. Um, thank you for, uh, for racing and a uh, good job on your race, Ben. And uh, congratulations to Alfie as well, and me too. Uh, well done, boys. Cheers. Cheers. So, uh, that's all we've got time for then tonight for Division 2. A fantastic first uh, Formula 1 weekend, uh, for Formula 1 race we've had this weekend at Portimao. If you want more, make sure to join us tomorrow. We've got two races tomorrow. We've got the Division, a Division 3 race at 6pm UK time. Then we've got Division 4 at 9pm. Sunday, we have got the McEwen Division race at 7pm. And then uh, Monday, the final race of the weekend, will be Division 1 at 7pm. So thank you to everyone that has joined us uh, tonight. And we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, everyone.